Hello everyone, welcome to even digital class. So, in this class we are going to discuss the application software types. If you remember in our last video, we have already discussed that if you will look into the productivity, then we found two types of software product, one is your generic product and other is customized product. But based on the usage of a software, we find two types of software that is our system software and application software. Okay? So, in our day to day life, we, we all are using a variety of software, but the thing is we might not think about what type of software we are using, whether it is a system software or it is a application software. So, I am just taking few minutes to remind you what are the basics of a system software and application software. Okay. So, when we are talking about system softwares, the system softwares are designed for specific operations or the system softwares are designed for to provide platform for other softwares. That means, we can develop other software by using system softwares. Like we want to develop a software, then we must have uh, install a operating system. A operating system may be your window operating system, may be Mac operating system, may be Linux operating system. So, installing a operating system, we can install their other softwares by which we can develop uh, other softwares. So, these are the uh, system softwares. Other example like your translator, like a compiler, interpreter, your um, what assembler, any game engines. So, these are the system softwares which provide us a platform to develop other softwares. Okay? So, application software is what? The name itself indicates that application software is developed for a specific application. Okay? That means, the application software are purely intended for some end users or some set of customers. Okay. But by using application software, we cannot develop other softwares like we are using phone pay. Phone pay is an application software, but by using phone pay, we cannot develop any other software. So, application software itself a end product, the customer just using it. Okay. So, as per our syllabus is concerned, we only discuss the application software types. So, based on our syllabus, I have listed 8 application software types. Let us discuss it one by one very briefly. The first one is stand alone application. Okay? The name is stand alone application. That means the stand alone applications are the independent body or we can call it, call it as independent software. Okay. The independent software means what? These standalone applications can run in our local computer or in our local desktop, in our personal computers, laptops without having any internet connection. Uh, like uh, suppose I have installed Microsoft Office, then I can use Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, Excel without having any internet connection. And if you look into your desktop, you may find a lots of software there which have their own application and they can run perfectly without having any internet connection. So, those are the standalone applications. The next is interactive transaction based applications. The interactive transaction based applications are the web applications. That means, the web application which can run on a remote computer, but the user that means, we can access those web applications. Um, through our computer, but the criteria is we have a good internet connection. Like uh, Mintra is a web application, we can uh, buy anything from Mintra if we have a laptop and we have a um, what internet connection. So, the web applications are actually getting executed on the remote computer, but we can access them by our desktop and through the internet connection. Okay? So, these are the interactive transaction based application that means by the application or through some web application we can do some transaction with interaction that is the interactive transaction based application. Next is embedded control software. So, embedded control software are the combination of the hardware system and some software system. That means, the software will get embedded into that hardware, then the hardware is controlled by the software. 
like uh, suppose uh, take an example in our last IT exhibition we have developed a lots of uh, robots or lots of uh, project with Arduino. Uh, so, take an example of uh, Bluetooth car. So, there are different things like Arduino Nano, th there is a motor, there is a controller. So, they are all hardware devices and those devices are controlled by a software. That chip Arduino Nano, that chip is uh, what, uh, that software is written or that program is written by us and we have installed that program in that Arduino Nano chip and then the total Bluetooth car is controlled by a Bluetooth controller which is also a software. So, there is a combination of both hardware and software. So, we can call them as embedded system. That means, uh, there is a hardware system and the safe software will get embedded in, in that hardware system and then the software is controlling all the hardware devices. Okay? Like suppose uh, uh, in our le next lectures, we will discuss a case study on insulin control pump. There is a controller which can control the insulin needle that will inject the insulin into a human body. So, we will discuss it later. The next is batch processing systems. Batch processing system means what? Batch processing system means the system that will collect or that will process a large number of inputs in terms of batches and uh, will give some desired output. Okay, so, that is a batch processing system. They are business uh, concerned systems which are used to process a large number of inputs in terms of batches. Like if you take an example, uh, payroll system. The payroll system is what? The payroll system will generate the salary of uh, each employee every month. Then how it is generating the salary of uh, each employee every month? That is actually based on the daily working hours of the employee. The daily working hours of the employee will get captured by a software. Then that data will be processed or will be analyzed and then it will give some uh, desired output. Like in our college there are 300 people working 7 hours daily. Okay? So, there is a biometric system. That system is uh, capturing uh, each and every day's attendance. That is 7 hours of data are getting collected into that software and then uh, that system will uh, cumulatively store those data and those data will get uh, analyzed or get processed and after that it will give some desired output that is the salary of each and every employee every month. So, that is the batch processing system. It executes all its uh, uh, task or it uh, executes all the large number of input data in terms of batches. So, we can call it as a batch processing system. The next is entertainment system. The entertainment system is what? We all are familiar with these entertainment systems. The entertainment systems are for the personal use and with the intention to entertain the user. That means, uh, the software applications which are intended to entertain the user can be called as an entertainment system. Like we are using a lot of gaming softwares, those are entertainment uh, systems and we are using a lot of video uh, applications like your Netflix, your Hotstar, your Amazon Prime. So, all those are also entertainment system and like if you are concerned about audios, there are Spotify, Saban, so all these are uh, your entertainment systems. The next is systems for modeling and simulation. Okay? So, these modeling and simulation systems are uh, used by the scientists and engineers to model physical process before the real time implementation. That means what? That means like a civil engineer, he will use uh, some uh, applications or some softwares to uh, design a 3D or virtual image of a building before constructing the building in a real time. Like in electronics, we have lots of simulators to design circuits and uh, like in our computer science also, there are lots of simulators uh, for designing the networks that are available or we have CAM, CAD that is computer aided design which are used to design machines in a virtual manner. Okay? So, these are the system for modeling and simulation. Uh, for example, suppose uh, you want to drive a car, 
but rather than getting into the car seat and drive it in a real time they the car company or they will provide a simulator in which you can go and learn the car driving that simulator will develop a environment as it is a real time and you will feel that you are actually sitting on a car and you are driving that car so the, those are the systems for modeling and simulation there are variety of application for this the next is data collection systems so data collection systems are those which are collecting data from its environment by using some sensors and then those data will transfer to any data center for further processing that means there are a set of sensors or there are a sensor that are attached to that uh, system and then the sensor will get uh, data from its environment and those datas are sent to the data center to process it or to analyze it and to give some appropriate output for example weather forecasting system in weather forecasting system we can predict that what will be the weather for the next 7 days or for the next month how it is possible it is possible because there are different sources they the sensor collecting data weather data like pressure temperature rainfall and they are collecting these weather data from the sources like satellite or weather station then those data are stored then those data will be processed will be analyzed and then we can predict what will be the weather for the next 7 days or for the next month so this this can be called as a data collection system the next is system of system so what is system of system the name itself indicates that it is composed of a number of other software systems so whenever we are talking about a large software system that is actually system of system that means there are lot of other systems other software systems which are embedded together and then we can call it as a system of system like suppose we have a college management system that is a software in that college management system let's take uh, two example uh, in college management of a system suppose there are two option one is online form fill up or online ad admission and second is publishing result so those two are two different software systems in case of online admission we are collecting data through the web from the students and then the data are stored in our database that is a data collection system if you say that is a data collection system so that is a data collection system and in case of publishing the result what we do we will collecting all semester grade points that is sgpa in a database then after collecting all six uh, total six uh, semester of result then we can calculate the cgpa by uh, looking at the sgpa so that, that is a batch processing system so combining those batch processing system that is your result publishing and the data collection system that is your online admission book up we can combine them together and we can call them as college management system so college management system is a system of system so i hope you just understand what are the application software types uh, in our next uh, video lectures so when we will discuss on the real time case studies then you will uh, get a better knowledge about this application software types thank you